Hey guys, Clue here with another episode of PC Building Simulator 2. Uh, we are going to jump right in. Um, I went ahead and looked at the next job whenever we ended the last episode. We had one job, which was to build two computers. So I went ahead and picked out parts for these two computers. They're pretty simple builds. Looks like for, you know, like a... For Ortan data security, pretty much a couple pretty low or I guess mid low end PCs. Um, so um, yeah, one with a 970 and 8 gigabytes of RAM, and one with a GTX 980 and 16 gigabytes of RAM. Um, both with uh, yeah mother uh, gigabyte B250M gaming five motherboard or better. Um, so pretty much did the same two builds. We got the motherboard they wanted um, with the best processor. Best, it's a KB Lake uh, motherboard. So we got the best KB Lake processor, the 7700K, which, uh, by the way, was the CPU I had before my latest upgrade. And then um, Kingston uh, M.2 in both of them. And, uh, it had a XPG core reactor 650 watt in both of them. Um, the one that wanted, they both have Corsair Dominator Platinum uh, RAM. Uh, one of them has 8 gigs, one of them has 16. Uh, there's 980 Ti, MSI 980 Ti, and the one that wanted the 980. And then there's uh, MSI 970, and the one that wanted the 970. Both of them have the Antec. Uh, liquid cooler and the fractal design focus G case. So we're going to go ahead and get those shipped in and we are ready to go the next day. Here we go. All right. Got our parts like so. Um, let's get the uh, these on the cases. I do know, I guess in the last episode, we had some problems. If you remember um, the case I got for our build, I couldn't get the uh, the panel back on it. Well, uh, it was like the back. Uh, there was like a back beauty panel back here that we I couldn't get back on. Well, literally maybe later that day or the next day um there was actually a it was in the patch notes that they fixed that so um if you get the same case now you shouldn't have that problem anymore they fixed it good on them this is just a i mean i like white anyway but this is a for a business so so i'll give them just a nice white our PSU in here. There were no extra jobs or anything. We don't have to worry about that. We just need to build the PCs for them. All right. And this is, which one are you? You just want the eight gigs of RAM. Get this going. Uh, in here. Uh, get our thermal paste on. Forgot to do that. Do not want to forget that. People stop coming to me, to my shop. Need to get our M.2 in there. Get our graphics card. Oh, which one were you? 970. Okay, we'll get our 970 in there. And our cooler just placed just like so missing cable there we go get our panels back on like so get our hard our operating system uh, installed actually this overclock won't matter because Very high quality RAM, but 
That is the max that that motherboard supports is 2400. That is the one they wanted, so we obliged. Build up this other one here. Did I miss? Oh, for some reason I thought I selected the uh, power supply. Open that up, get that opened up. We will go ahead and open or er, install the power supply. That off. Just work our way up here. Get M.2 graphics card. Um, 16 gigs of RAM. Oh, so, <clears throat> sorry, excuse me. Uh, skip up to the processor. Get our USB drive in. Fire thermal paste. So. And that. All right, should be oh, missing cable again. All right, get our side panel back on. And get our OS installed there. This one should be good to go. I guess I sh I'm pretty sure there is none, but I guess I should be sure. On the secondary objectives. Yep. Yep, yep. We're good. Put these back in the hallway. And the other one. Awesome. Cool, cool. And we will collect our payment. Awesome. $2,000 profit on that job. Not bad. Um, ooh, unlocked uh, 30, some 3080s. And new uh, motherboards, so that's nice. Oh, we got our electricity bill, five hundred dollars roughly. That is an expensive electric bill. I guess it depends on where you live in the country. For me, that would be very expensive. All right. Uh, before we looked at those jobs, I want to go out and take a look at the shop. For me, in real time, it has been a long time since I played. We do not have any. PCs on sale. I mean, fine. We're doing fine on cash. Let's uh, let's take a look at what kind of jobs we got. Um, we got a diagnose and repair job. Let's see here. Can you diagnose what's wrong? All my games started running slow. Um, everything else was fine, but now nothing works. My RAM is making really loud noise and overheating. So. We do have a large parts budget, so most likely, unless he has a really fancy computer, more than the RAM is messed up. But we'll go ahead and order replacement RAM. And then when we get the PC in here, we will see what else we can find wrong with it. Um, we got a job to water cool this guy's RAM. That is no problem. For us, it's uh, two sticks. So, come back out to the custom water cooling shop. If everybody remembers how to do this. We just need we need both the heat sink, so and memory block, and they has two two sticks of RAM. So we'll get that one. That is all there is to that back here and we got one more job oh i guess i should see um yeah got some secondaries but nothing no like certain colored cables or anything that we need to buy that's good so this one wants to upgrade to an all-in-one water cooler and it looks like they want uh person wants a fancy one uh the NZXT Kraken Z63, which I believe is the most expensive one in the game. Oh wait, no. Oh, that's a Z73. They said Z63. Price budget at 270. So yeah, we can't afford the Z7, the 73. We're going Z63. So. All right. So we've got the parts we need. 
Get those coming to us. Uh, all right. Yeah, off we go. Going home. Have a relaxing evening. Probably sitting at my computer trying to get a open a 4090 uh, shows up that a scalper doesn't get before I can get to it. Yeah. Came back, didn't manage to get it, but we will continue to work and do our jobs anyway. Let's go ahead and leave the diagnosing the last. Okay, let's see what we got. We have secondary objectives on this one to do. Um, having problems with my processor overheating. I've heard about the all-in-ones. Nope, looks like there's not really anything left to do. This case does look really uh, scratched up and stuff. Huh. Missing cables. Heck is all sorts of stuff wrong here. Alright. Do that. Clean off the CPU and get new thermal paste on. So. Okay. R is the 63. Oh. Well, not, no, because you can't install it in the top. Oh well, that's fine. Just install it in the front. Oh, love it, love it, love it, love it. All right, let's get components back in there. Ooh, dust filter, front panel, top, oh, yep, top panel. Beauty panel is not going back in there, I'm pretty sure. Nope. Uh, missing cable. Got that. Will it let us clean it over there? Nope. It's just the way they want it to look. Okay. No problem. No problem. Let's see how good we're doing here. Uh oh. Yeah. Doing a decent job, I guess. This depends what the ambient temperature is in here. All right. Looks to be good. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. All right, now we gotta water cool the ram in this one. Well, let's see if there's any secondary objectives. Yep, definitely. Um, the Union Jack theme, so we can do that. Oh. Past it, sorry. Union Jack. Applied. Looking good. Showing that. British Pride. Alright. Let's get the RAM out of here. Alright. Like so. Let's take it over here to our water cooling table. Sticks. Covers off. Alright, let's remove these old thermal pads. So okay. As of the recording of this, it is the week before Christmas. Um I haven't really watched very many tech YouTube videos lately, which I guess is more indicative of like uh, Jay's Two Cents has been on vacation and Gamers Nexus is in um, Asia right now, so kind of video flow has not been what it usually is. I mean, I guess there still has been a lot of videos, but most of them just the 7900 XTX uh, and XT reviews. So I've watched those, but it's just not really exciting. So, I mean, it was exciting the first one, but you know, 
There's only so much benchmarking and everything that... Alright, so let's get this. I don't think my stuff's going to match up with theirs, but with my piping. And it looks like it's... No, is it flexible? I mean, I think it's black rigid. I do not have. We'll use this. Uh, sure. Come on now. Okay. And I was it? It was like pink coolant or something. Uh, let's go with it. That might have been the color. Anyway. So yeah, I was really excited about the um, the XDX, and I uh, feel like I'm not as excited anymore. I mean, I know rasterization-wise, it is very much um, better price point than the NVIDIA cards. However, you know between being uh, wanting to be able to have that ray tracing performance and um, also like rendering videos and stuff now and also being a fan of virtual reality. Um, these are all things that it kind of fails at pretty hard. Not hard, but you know, compared to the NVIDIA cards, it's not as close as it is in rasterization, so um, probably worth it for me to to just save save up and spend that extra money on the 4090. I can get all those things. Pretty much use VR every day, and uh, yeah, now I'd like to have better rendering options and stuff. It's just yeah, it's worth it to me. All right, let's see. So we got the Union Jack theme. Um, we did the virus scan. Looks like we are done with that job. Awesome. So yeah, I'm probably, I feel like I should talk about what I'm gonna get as a new PC every video, which is probably boring. I guess it's because there's so much distant or so much time takes place between when I record the videos that uh, it just seems seems new and I'm thinking about it every day because I changed my mind. Because I was going to just go ahead and get them to 7900 XTX, then I decide, decided against it. Now I'm back in the 4090 territory. Pretty sure you've hear, heard me change my uh, change my opinion or my decision multiple times. We'll see. Also, currently my decision is to uh, let's see here, paint the case cyan. Um, right now my decision is to go AMD on the processor, which is mostly uh, two reasons. One, uh, AM5 should last a while, and uh, if I went Intel, this is probably the last generation for LGA 1700. And even though I probably might not, I don't know, when I upgrade, it may not be, I probably wouldn't stick with the same motherboard, but I don't know, it sounds nice right now that I might save money. So, yeah. So I'm thinking about going that the AM5 route and also because of the, 3D, uh, X3D um, CPUs for gaming. Even though I have, you know, wanting more of a workload now for um, for the videos. I mean, maybe I do want to look at look at other options, not just gaming. Even though I think, I mean, I think. Rumor is, I think, that there is going to be like 7950 uh, X3D, so that might be awesome in both worlds. We'll see. 
but I don't know. I guess my thing to do now is just to wait. I'm losing track of what I'm doing here. So we definitely know we got to exchange the RAM. We'll take that out. Get this, yep, faulty RAM. Get this put back in. All right. So we've used a tenth of our budget. Um, anything else in here we want to make sure we do? We got the, the vents are clogged. We cleaned it out. We painted it cyan. We replaced the RAM. So now we just got to figure out everything that sits wrong with it. Let's try to start it up. Um, there's definitely some problems. I think I'm hearing fans. Also, it's not starting up. Probably the graphics card is messed up. Pretty cool looking graphics card. Anyway, power it down. I wonder if I you can I can use a the thermal app to kind of see about the fans. Um, I don't know. It's hard to say. Hard to say. Okay. Let's pull out the graphics card. And it is definitely broken. Actually, I'm going to put it back in here for a second. So I can just pull up the graphics card in order to pull it, buy it here. All right. So we got that. That's a little bit closer to our budget, but I'm thinking I still want to check out these fans because there's definitely it may have been the GPU fans but I'll check these anyway all right let's clean this off so I don't forget and we'll apply thermal paste so I don't forget there we go all right so that is good. There are case fans. These are good. All right. So everything being as it is, I guess we will go ahead and get the go ahead and take this out. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Accidentally took out the PCI cover. Uh, let's go ahead and get that out. We will need to change to. I have no idea if that's purple or pink or what. Let's try. Um, let's just go with this. It'll be fine. Um, but also, let's go ahead and rush this because we can afford it. Just having fun. Let's do that. Awesome. Get this GPU in here and see how it goes. Oh, we're still not, still not fixed. Okay. Let's see what else we got going on here. Um, it shows. Yeah, we only do have one stick in there. It shows the CPU. Um, it shows the GPU. It was uh, two storage drives. What exactly are I missing here? <laughs> Is there more than that in storage? DD. <laughs> I guess maybe it's from a virus. Let's see here. I mean, it looks like both of those are working fine. Try to start her up, see what happens. Okay. 
Okay, let's get the virus scanner on here. Um, no viruses. Okay. If we look at... I don't know. All right. Some info, maybe. One of you guys is probably like knows exactly what's wrong here. It, it means it's you. And I took off all the fans and the coolers. I guess something's just faulty. I don't know. Guess I'm gonna. Guess I'm gonna unhook this whole thing and see. When in doubt. When in doubt, just uh, take it out. All right. No, this. Sorry, the guys. It's a little boring to watch everything get taken out. Figure this out. Um, there's that. This cable's off of here. Won't take long to install it back. This will give us a definite answer of what we need so we don't make any more mistakes. All right, so motherboard's good. Get you back on there. Power supply is faulty. Okay. Uh, CPU is good. That's probably gonna, that brings us pretty close to our budget, so that's probably it. Go ahead and get that on there. All right. Our memory back in here. New graphics. Oh, let's do storage drives. And to forget storage drives. Okay. Let's drive away. Oh, didn't I? Yeah, it's in there. Had me second guessing because these other and that twos. And there we go. Now we just have to get a replacement uh, power supply. It was the GamerStorm DQ750. Alright, let's get that one in here. We'll rush it. We've spent a lot of money. <laughs> Probably, uh, all the money we're going to make has been spent rushing this job. But that's fine. We're just trying to get up and level and uh, unlock some new parts and have some fun. So. Okay. PSU mount back on. Very good. Oh. Uh, what the all right, there we go. All right, we should be good to go. Now, do we miss anything on the job? Just making sure again, like we got the RAM replaced, we painted the case cyan, and we cleaned it. So we should be golden on these jobs. All right, let's get them turned in. Some nice. All right. Uh, unlocked a lot of new parts. We got a thirty ninety. Uh, thirty ninety uh, water cooled GPU. It's cool. Um, thirty nine fifty X. Six eight hundred XT. New cases. Some other stuff. All right, looking good. All right. Um, we spent quite a long time on that diagnose, uh, diagnosing that build. So 
I think we will have to call it there, guys. And uh, next episode, we will continue on our trek to uh, level 18 and beyond. I want to thank you for joining me. And if you like the video, please like the video and subscribe. And I will catch you in the next one.